What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using a Water Absorb Assault Vest Polyrath team that also features a bunch of other Regulation E Pokemon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon that we are going to go over for today's team preview is going to be the Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond. It's got Sturdy as an ability, which is so good, acts as a Focus Sash, and then a great moveset of Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Quick Attack, and Spiky Shield. In our second slot, we got Komo-O. This Pokemon, awesome, very good pseudo legendary, especially coming out of for Regulation E. It's got Soundproof alongside with the Throat Spray, Rocking Clanging Scales, Terra Blast, Clangor Soul, and Protect. We got Mimikyu in our third slot. Mimikyu is just a solid Pokemon all around in double battles. It's got Skies and the Mental Herb. I can play rough, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Trick Room to set up the Trick Room or even counter the Trick Room, and then Protect as our final move. In our fourth slot is going to be a Pokemon that thrives in the Trick Room. That is going to be Ursaluna over here. I should say Blood Moon Ursaluna. Should specify it more often, but it's got Mind's Eye as its ability with the Choice Specs as its item, rocking Blood Moon as its first move, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, and last but not least, it's got Backing Wave. In our fifth slot, it's going to be a very cool but situational Pokemon. It's going to be Neutralizing Gas Weezing. If you guys do not know what Neutralizing Gas does, it takes all abilities off the field when it is on the field. So it's going to be very situational, as you guys can already tell, and uh, a lot of fun, especially when you can pull it off. It's got Life Orb as item, hitting hard with Gunk Shot, it has Assurance, it also has Explosion with the normal Terror type and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is going to be the Pokemon that I'm most excited to actually use. It is going to be Polyrath with Water Absorb and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Liquidation, Drain Punch, Double Edge, and Knock Off. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to showcase this Polyrath Regulation E team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Alolan Sand slash Snow team. It also features Alolan Ninetales, Earthworm, Pheasantipity, who is top tier, and then they're rocking out with Rillaboom and Urshfu. I think they definitely bring in Snow. Weather is going to be perfect for up against us, but I can lead Neutralizing Gas and just cancel out all abilities right off the rip. So I am going to end up doing that. We're going to lead the boy, Weezing, alongside with... Polyrath? I could go Polyrath, or I can just go straight into Disguise Mimikyu. Maybe just pop a Tricker. I feel like Tricker will definitely be helping us out with Ursaluna and probably Polyrath in the back end. Or I can just go maybe Cornerstone Ogre Pond for a lead, which I like. And then on top of that, bring Polyrath and Mimikyu. Yeah, I like that. I do like that because I really don't like Ursaluna. The reason being is all the Ice type Pokemon on the team and then they have Rillaboom for Grass God. Could definitely get real scary. Could definitely get real scary. So I'm just going to bring in Polyrath and... Uh, Who's the other Pokemon I brought? Uh, Cornerstone Ogre Pond instead, which I really, really like. Plus, on top of this, Weezing is can hit like a truck. It's got Life Orb. It's got some great stab moves with Gunk Shot. Hit really, really hard. You can also Trash Slice and Explode with it. Today, I end up going Sand Slash and Nine Tails. And I'm saying, hey, yo, your abilities are not working right now. You're not getting your Slush Rush. You're not getting your, your uh, what is it? A War Veil off and all that. It's just not happening. So from here, I'm just going to hit this thing with a Gunk Shot. I'm going to go Gunk Shot here. And... Do I say grass typing? I think I just go straight rock. Ivy cudgel. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight rock. I'm gonna Ivy cudgel right in the sand slash. Right into the sand of slashes. I'm not playing around, taking the grass typing off of me as well, and I'm putting on my cornerstone mask to get things started here. And this is my first time using the uh, cornerstone Pokemon. His mask looks it looks funny. He's got a little tusk on it and everything. <laughs> it's really funny. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna take out that grass type. I'm not dealing with it. I don't want to get hit by these other moves. I get the rock terror going, the rock mask, and look at that mask. Oh, that looks sick. It looks tough. Yeah, real tough. We got Ivy Cudgel coming out here, first turn. And I don't get a boost because I don't have abilities. That kind of hurts. One of my boosts. Icy Wind's going to fly out here, and who's dodging this? One of us dodged it. Ogre Pond dodge. That's big because Ogre Pond is fastest on the field right now. We love it. Ice Circle Crash going to double down into you. You should be able to soak that. Cool. No flinches loud. Cool, and Gunk Shot's lying. Dude, awesome. We love you. Nine Tails on one HP. Awesome. We like that. We like that a lot. So from here, 
I think I just go into an assurance here, just KO. And on top of this, I mean, we might as well just rip another Ivy Cudgel. We might as well. We might as well. Because I was going to say, if he withdraws, he withdraws. Ivy Cudgel's going to probably do the most damage. Maybe I should just went into the grass move. I might go into Robo anyway. It's going to be worth it. But yeah, I probably should have went into the grass move. Could have been a little bit better, but Ivy Cudgel's still going to chunk up some damage onto you. He is rather bulky. And yeah, it's doing that much damage. Okay, that's fine with me. Icy Wind's going to fly. He's going to slow me down a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. So the speed drops are out and about. We are going to be able to get rid of Nine Tails. The best part is we just canceled out snow. We just were not having the snow. So he still has a little Nine Tails in the back end. I have Mimikyu first turn priority. I have Polyrath with this old best. I like what we have in the back end. And Earthworm is here. Earthworm's a little, a bit more scary here, right? Earthworm. Is a little scary. I do want to go for a gunk shot in this slot. And I think from here we might just want to spike his shield. Just in case he takes out this slot. I mean, if you take out my wheezing, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And we'll see what else one plays out here. I'm just going to take out my wheezing. Please do not be going for it. Please do not be going for an iron defense. Just attack me. Just attack me. So I finally get my embody aspect boost. It's going to be a beautiful defense boost, which we like. And Grassy Surge now comes out here, which, ah, oh, that's, that's terrible. That is terrifying. And you iron the fence up. Oh, my lord. It couldn't have got worse. It couldn't have gotten worse. It's ugly, because now we can grass you guys straight into me. Now we can just grass you guys straight into me. And this is the point where I bring in... Mimikyu? I mean, I, I died a grassy guy with you. I died a grassy guy with Cornerstone. I need to... I don't know what, what I can do here. Real tough. We're sitting in a terrible position. A terrible position. A terrible I'm going to go for a double spiky shield. Okay, I got to go for a double spiky shield. Of course I miss it. There's a soul and he's just going to grass guy take me out. No, I soaked. Why'd I go for another spiky shield? I knew I should have gone for another spiky shield. I knew I should have just attacked him. Iron Head now comes out here. Takes off the skies. And he might think I'm spiky shielding again. But I'm just going to double down and him. I need to get rid of it. Only shot at win this match. But that turn, that last turn right there, really just put us in a bad spot, right? Orthworm got the Iron Defense. He set off the grassy terrain. And it was just terrible from there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to land an Ivy Cudgel in this slot. He probably thinks I'm going for a... Yeah. I was going to say, he probably thinks I'm going for a... Uh, a spiky shield. But nah, I'm attacking him. I'm attacking him this time. So we make up for our mistakes last turn. And we get rid of you. We get rid of him. Okay, that's pretty massive. That's pretty massive. But Earthworm is now the problem. Earthworm is now the problem. We're doing five damage with the play rough. Iron Head's coming out here. That's going to KO me. And I'm forced to bring out Pyro. So with the Iron Defense boost, it's really tough. It's really tough because I'm not going to be able to hit him that hard. I really am not. They have Sand Slash, who's low on HP. And now would probably be the turn to just protect Overpod, right? And get rid of Sand Slash. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. Protect Overpod. And take out the Sand Slash. Spike Shield. Cool. A quick attack would be able to KO Sand Slash, but he is part Steel type, so it's, I don't think it's gonna KO it. So yeah, I'm not even gonna go for that. So I'm just gonna spike shield up here. I'm gonna hope Sand Slash attacks me, and Pyrath can just pick up the KO. Sand Slash goes for EQ. Oh no! Oh no! He's healing up the Earthworm. Healing up the Earthworm with Earth Eater, and that thing is just a problem. Just a big time problem. EQ's gonna fly here. I'm able to soak pretty well. Drain Punch gonna finish off the Sand Slash. And now, like, this is this is where we have a problem. This is where we have a problem. It's like Earthworm sitting here. Plus two on defense. Very bulky up against two physical attackers. And at full HP. He ends up body pressing my Ogre Palm, which is great. Which is lovely. But now I just need to start attacking him. I actually need to start getting after him. The real question is, did it use its terror type yet? I'm real curious. I kind of forget. I don't think they have. I don't think they have. No, they haven't Terrasalized yet. We Terrasalized. They have not. 
We can Thrasilize whenever. I'm just gonna go into Drain Punch. And I guess right now we're just gonna go into a Horn Leech. Probably do more damage than Ivy Kaja. Horn Leech doing 5. We get back like 10 HP, which we love. How much damage is Drain Punch gonna do? Can we just get like a crit? Can we just crit this thing? It's not doing a lot. That's not doing a lot. That's not doing a lot because Body Press KOs me. That is not doing a lot. And I wonder what his terror type is. It might be steel. Some of them rock steel. I don't know. I doubt it's steel. Does this thing have leftovers? It does not. I don't believe it does. Hey, it does not. So, you know, I'm just going to go for liquidation just in case it terrors here. And I would think it would have ghost terror. Ghost is just so good. It's just so prominent, right? You still have terror. I really wonder what your terror type is. It's really throwing me off that you haven't terrestrialized yet. So it comes down to the wire here. He does not. He ends up not terroring. We go for a liquidation, and he's just. <laughs> I need a crit. I need a crit. I simply need a crit. All right, we're going back to drain punches. Drain punch. Let's go. Let's go. Drain punches. Watch. Gonna terrestrialize it to ghost right now. I'm gonna be so upset. No, it does not. So drain punch coming out. If I get a crit, we win this match. Just give me a crit. Help me out here. Body press flying. We have one shot here. It's got to be crit. It's got to be crit. It has got to be a crit. Come on now. Crit me up. Crit me up. We tried. We tried. I knew once this thing set up its first iron defense, I was like, this is a problem. This is a problem. And this first match comes down to the wire, but Orthorn doing us dirty in the back end. Second match is on its way. We're having a tough time. Well, we're going to have a tough time with this team right here, especially using this off meta squad. We like to look for some wins, but it's always tough when we're going up against teams like this. They got Hearth Flame Mash, Ogre Pond, Okie Dogie. They got Tornado, Shen Pao, Flutter Main, and, and what is that? Landers and Landers. But yeah, it's it, I love using off meta teams, but the meta is just the meta, and it's so hard to play up against. So we're going to try here. We're definitely still going to try here. They have... Pokemon that I think they're gonna lead probably gonna be like Tornadus or something like that, right? Maybe Intimidate on Orlando. But I think from here we might just wanna lead these two. Maybe pop Trick Room, explode as well, and kinda of get after that, and then bring Ursaluna and Polyrath in the back end. I think I could definitely get down with that. So I'm gonna lock it in. And we're gonna look to uh, grab ourselves a win here in match number two. That last match came down to the wire. Really wish we could have started off today's video with a W. But I'm gonna hope to get one here in match number two for you guys, which would be big. Cause again, we're playing up against meta squads. And meta squads are just so good. There's, especially when when you're versing a off meta team, you just have the upper hand right away. But Okie Dogie comes out here. Okie Dogie's pretty bulky. Um, I think from here, yeah, we just we terrestrialize, we explode seems pretty safe right and then on top of that we just go for the trick room because if i can explode and deal some nice damage then i can just have the trick room pop and bring in ursula and just start sending hyper voices which could be really really good but the best part about this team is we're not going up against any type of Rillaboom. Rillaboom, i feel as is one of the better pokemon in the meta especially with that they gave a grass guide back it's really really op it's really broken to be honest with you guys but i get off the nice beautiful normal terra we love the normal terror type. And he's just going to bleak one storm me. So he's going to take off my disguise. He's going to deal some damage to Weezing, which is kind of scary. Definitely kind of scary. Are you going after Oki? That's the real question. He's going to go for a gunk shot, and we dodge it. That's, that's big time. That's a big time dodge, because now I get off everything that I want. Explosion comes out here. Big time damage onto both of them. And then Shrikram comes out here, and we can bring out the person. The big time dodge on the gunk shot. We love it. We love it. So that's some big damage, too. We love that. We love that damage. So they don't have speed on us, which we love. We take the speed over, and now I can just bring out the choice spec Pokemon. And I'll probably just rip Hyper Forces, right? Or I could bring out Polyrath. But I feel like Polyrath's a nice little back-end Pokemon. Trick Room out and about. Beautiful. Love. Dope. Cool. Awesome. Love it. So now, we go straight into the boy. I'm gonna cook from there. Blood Moon's here. Hyper Voice can really thrive. He's gonna throw out Ogre Pond here. And Ogre Pond. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna put on a mask? Potentially, right? Potentially, you might just throw on a mask. Do I just Earth Power him? No, you know what? No, we're just gonna stick with our Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is great. Stab. 90 base damage. 
and I'm just going to, instead of play rough, and I'm just going to shadow sneak into this slot. I want to do as much damage as I can onto Ogre Pond. So he's going to keep his mask and his terror. And Hyper Voice now flies, dealing some big time damage, and leaving Ogre Pond on 1 HP. That really hurts because a Horn Leech can come out here and do some damage. Yep. Yeah, dude, that's, that's so ugly. That is so ugly. That's real ugly. That that just happened. 1 HP? Come on now. Come on now. 1 HP really hurts soul. So no first turn priority for you. What else you got? You got no first turn priority for you. I'm choice into Hyper Voice. And I think I just rip a Shadow Sneak into this slot. This could get real, real, real rough here. I might lose this one. Because if he spiky shields and terrestrializes Fluttermane and just like Dazzle Gleams, that could be real bad. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Oh my, don't tell me I'm going to lose this. Don't tell me we're going to go down 0-2 in the match number 3. Okay, no, Terrasalize you. Which I'm fine with, because Shadow Sneak should chunk up some nice damage. Hyper Voice should KO. And if you're going into you, if you're going into the mass, that makes me think you're not Spiky Shield, right? Cool. They're so not going to Spiky Shield. Shadow Sneak doing some nice damage here. Quick attack coming out here. And we're able to soak. Beautiful. Hyper Voice flying. So we want the attack boost, and I pick up the double kill. And I totally forget we have Mind's Eye. That ability allows normal moves to actually hit ghost types. So that works out perfectly. That works out perfectly. I was complaining for no reason. There's one and one. Beautiful match number one. We explode it. We rip up with Ursulino in Trick Room. And we take that victory. Final match for today's video on its way. And we grab ourselves some women to squad. I want to use Polyrath a little bit more here in match number three. So I might just end up bleeding them. They got Tornadus. They have Grim Snarl for screens, which I don't really like. And then they're also going in with Fluttermane in DD. Landorus and Ogre Pond. I think Weezing's gonna be a great lead here. I mean, we can neutralize and gas off Prankster, and we can kind of go from there, which I really do like. I do like. So, you know what? I'm gonna go Weezing for a nice lead. Neutralize gas can actually stop a lot of good abilities on the team. So, I'm all about it. So, I'm gonna go neutralize and gas. Um, what else am I gonna lead here? Hmm. Could go Komo. -O. Maybe set up a Clangor Soul, which would not be terrible. You have terrible with the ghost typing. That's not bad either. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wanna do that? Yeah, I wanna do that. We'll bring Cornerstone Ogre Pond alongside Pyrath in the back end. Perfect, cool. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record. I would love to get ourselves a winning record, especially with this team right here. Nothing's better than beating uh, meta teams with off meta teams to get a winning record. It just feels so good. We almost had it. Match number one, we end up lo losing to that Orthworm. A little worm with the iron defense bulked up at the perfect time it beat us but second match went pretty well i really did think they were going to terrestrialize and spiky shield in that last match which would have been bad for us because they could have just spiky shielded the uh the ogre pond terrestrialize the uh the flutter main but i forgot that uh mind's eye ability on ursulina hits through ghost types which is cool but they're gonna end up leading landers they do not intimidate me which is huge and I'm just gonna throw a gunk shot. Can I throw a gunk shot? Hmm. We double up with some damage here. I'm just gonna throw a gunk shot here. Into you. And I could terror here if I want to, but I'm just gonna go for the Clanger Soul. We're going for all the boosts here. So Lando ends up protecting. This could be a pretty nice turn for us. This can end up being a pretty good turn. Can you dodge a kind of mo? Who dodged it? Both you guys dodged it? Oh my god, this is a massive turn for us. Gunk shot, can you land? Because we get off this Clanger Soul. Huge. Huge. Huge boost on the speeds. Attack. Defense. Special attack. Special defense. Speed boost. That's a big turn for us. That's a big, big turn for us. At the cost of 130 HP, it's all good though. Because I throw spray boost as well. Now I gunk shot out. You're on some massive damage, and this thing's hitting like a truck. Hitting like a god dang truck. Mac 10, 50 wheels on it, and in the back of the truck is like 50,000 gallons of water. That's how heavy this thing is. It's just ramming into it. So Ogie Pond comes out here, Ogie Ogie, and I'm curious to see if my how fast you are. You should be faster than Ogie Pond. Let's see. 150. Oh yeah, I'm gonna speed this all day. 
all day, all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. And you know what? This is where I explode out and I terrestrialize as well and I clang in scales, right? It, yeah, I'm, I'm not even overthinking this. We are attacking heavy here, looking for this winning record. And he ends up withdrawing right now. So you gotta go into though. Who got cooking? Who got cooking here? Flutterman. It's actually like the most perfect Pokemon to swap in here. I might just end up K. Oh, dude, if you spiky shield here, oh my lord, we're just KOing my Pokemon for free. Yo, how do you get Protosynthesis? I have Weezing on the field. That's a little wild. This could be bad. This could be real bad. <laughs> this could be real bad. If he spiky shields here, we get no value off on this turn and we lose a Weezing just like that. So I would not, I personally, I would not like that. He's Thrasilized into Ogre Pine. Okay, so I think we take out Ogre Pine here, right? <clears throat> I think we get rid of Ogre Pine. Flying Scale is coming out here. It's not affecting the Floods. It's almost KO into Ogre Pine. My defense is going to drop here. He's going to go for Ivy Country. If he's going to KO... My Komo, oh, which is fine. That's it's no big deal. And I'm gonna KO him with explosion. I really wish I would just like gunk shot or insurance to try to take it out, but it'd be like that. Cause now all we have left is we have Polyrath and we have Cornerstone. Not not bad. Could be worse though. Could be better too. This Fluttermane again is just a just a problem. Because Fluttermane is going to be super effective onto my, my, uh, wait, wait, why are you still alive? Okay, cool. It was just giving it the attack boost before it died out. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, you have zero HP and you're getting an attack boost from your ability? Nah, I don't like that. But I have Polyrath. I do have Assault Vest on Polyrath, which I actually really, really like up against these Fluttermanes. But Lander's going to come out here and give me the attack drop, which is real tough. Really tough. Really, really tough. So I get out the Pyrath. Intimidate is mm, perfect. It's so perfect up against these two. And I get a minus one attack drop on both these guys. Which sucks. It's terrible. We don't like it. We don't like it. So from here, I think we just try to double down into you, right? I think we just double down to Fluttermane here. Hate this game. <laughs> to protect on the flutter main man. And they ah oh, dude. The protect on the flutter main. Just too perfect. EQ now flies. Um we get off zero value these turns. And you get a crit as well. Lovely. Lovely! Beautiful. 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 And that's pretty much wraps it up, right? I go for an Ivy Cudgel here, and I got no protect, and I'll try to go for Liquidation over on this slot now, but yeah, we need him to miss attacks, which we're definitely not going to be doing. Dazzling comes out here, double kill, and the third and final match goes to her opponent, and we grab ourselves another losing record going 1-2, and two. but still, I absolutely love to see him. Off Meta Squad, always fun to use. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 1-2 and two losing record, but still, absolutely love this team and had a lot of fun using it. Konamo'o was top tier, Ursaluna was great with Mimikyu, we got to showcase Pyrath pretty well, just like that Pokemon all around, but again, off Meta Squad, going up against Meta Teams, really tough to win some matches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.